Today is Friday, December 18th. The prophet Jeremiah recorded his prophecies in the decades around 600 BC, in the years leading up to the exile, and then in the early years of the exile. His earlier prophecies warned the Israelite people that by turning away from God, they were inviting death and destruction into their midst. Then, the death and destruction, in fact, overwhelmed them in the form of the Babylonians who destroyed Jerusalem and dragged them into exile. His listeners could not have known when the Messiah would be born, the Messiah of whom Jeremiah prophesies in today's first reading. But by the time they were in Babylon, they must have wanted the Messiah immediately or some help from God. In fact, the Messiah, the righteous shoot of David, whom God would raise up, would not be born for another 600 years. We hear the circumstances of his birth in today's familiar gospel. But does this mean that God abandoned the Israelites to the Babylonians? Certainly not. Jeremiah reminds his listeners that their God was the God who brought them out of the land of Egypt. The Lord God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob was always with them and for them. God wasn't the problem. The problem was that they weren't paying attention. They weren't living faithfully in the covenant. Nonetheless, the God who loved them freed them through King Cyrus of Persia, who defeated the Babylonians and released the Israelite captives. This same pattern applies to us, of course. The Messiah has been born, and we are about to celebrate his birth yet again. But the question arises, are we paying attention and living faithfully in the covenant? Unfortunately, in our own times, the Christian churches have failed in all sorts of ways. The Catholic hierarchy has failed to lead with justice and compassion. Mainstream Protestantism has failed to feed its members who have fallen away. Evangelical Protestantism has gone its own way, also losing members and remaining isolated within the wider electorate. Jesus' call is, first and foremost, to each of us, an invitation into relationship with him as the author of our lives and our destinies. Having issued this call, he asks us to be united with others who have responded to the call. This call is not primarily to institution. It is to a people, the community that Vatican II calls the people of God. And it must be a community of compassion, welcome, and justice. And that can be you and me today, as we recognize that God has never abandoned us. God Emmanuel, God with us, is always with us, with us in that mysterious way characteristic of God, a mysterious presence that we intuit ever more strongly as we grow in faith. Let's each in our own way accept that invitation today. Read the readings again and hear God's call to you today. Let's be open and receptive to Jesus' birth one more time in our individual hearts, our communal hearts, and perhaps even the heart of our country, so in need of the healing that only he can give.